Hello everyone and welcome to General Microbiology. Today we will talk about an easy way of remembering the Baltimore classification, one of the most commonly used systems for categorizing viruses. The system divides all viruses into seven categories based on how their genetic material is processed into messenger RNA. This is required to make proteins, a critical step in the replication for all viruses. The point of the classification system is the messenger RNA, which is by definition a single strand of positive sense RNA. We are lucky to have only seven groups define all viral categories known to date, and these groups are double-stranded DNA, single-stranded DNA, double-stranded RNA, single-stranded RNA, two more single-stranded RNA groups, and we end where we started with a double-stranded DNA group. All double-stranded genomes are, by definition, positive and negative sense, since they have two strands. All other genomes are only positive sense, with the exception of category 5, which is the only oddball where the sense of the strand is negative. It should be noted that group 2 viruses can package both a negative and a positive strand into their capsid, so technically they can be positive sense and negative sense at the same time. Making messenger RNA. We know that double-stranded DNA can make messenger RNA directly. Single-stranded DNA requires conversion to double-stranded DNA to make the messenger RNA. Double-stranded RNA can be used as a template to make messenger RNA in a similar way that double-stranded DNA can, but this uses an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase instead of a DNA-dependent RNA polymerase, like in R cells. Single-stranded positive sense RNA is already messenger RNA and can be used to make proteins right away. Alternatively, it can be copied into its negative sense to then produce more positive sense messenger RNA. This of course also requires an RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Group 5 viruses function exactly like the post conversion group 4 viruses and can produce the positive sense messenger RNA from the negative sense genomic RNA strand using RNA dependent RNA polymerase. This is where it gets interesting. Group 6 and group 7 viruses carry a reverse transcriptase to produce DNA from an RNA strand. They can then make double-stranded DNA which can be used to produce the messenger RNA. Finally, group 7 is an interesting virus class because its genome is comprised of a circular gapped double-stranded DNA. As such, some of its DNA is actually single-stranded and some of its genome contains RNA as a primer. The virus uses this primer to generate the required strand of single-stranded RNA that will eventually become the template for the reverse transcriptase. Thank you for watching and hope you found this video useful in helping to remember the Baltimore classification.